story here. Listen to this. Tonight's Marquette women's basketball game was broadcast on national TV as part of the annual Female Forward Initiative. Now, every single person involved in the TV broadcast tonight is a woman from play-by-play -play broadcaster Lisa Byington to director Carol Langley and to every camera operator and audio technician. CBS 58's Adam Reif takes us inside the production how hard these women work and what they put into their jobs and not just us as athletes, but even to, to put our games on TV and to cover our games is, is special. Sold out arenas, huge TV numbers and big time stars. Women covering women has helped drive the explosion and popularity of women's sports in recent years. Marquette senior guard Jordan King has felt that enthusiasm for most of her career. The crowds have been bigger at some of the games recently just um, from experience in the Big East for the past five years. She said the players noticed the impact they have on girls in the stands. We always pay attention to that. We cherish that and uh, we appreciate it. But widespread support from a diverse fan base was not always there for women's sports. I think that's what been a change in the last 10 to 15 years where you see, you know, families and young boys wearing a Jordan King jersey or a Caitlin Clark jersey that maybe didn't happen before. But Marquette head coach Megan Duffy says there's still work to be done. We would love for it not just to be one day where we celebrate girls and women's in sports. It's, it's, it's every day. And, and Wednesday night, everyone tuning a microphone, running cable, focusing a camera and punching up a shot will be a woman. Just a really special and empowering night. It'll be analyst Kim Adams second time calling the annual female forward game. It's just so cool to look into our truck later and see everyone in there as a woman. For years men have dominated the sports broadcast industry but recently more women have made inroads especially with on-air positions. But in terms of producers, directors, graphic coordinators, uh, camera operators, that's still very heavily male dominated. Which is why those involved with this game want the broadcast to show other girls and women and the decision makers what they're capable of. I do hope that one day I do have a female camera operator and it's not just because it's National Girls and Women in Sports Day. In Milwaukee, Adam Reif, CBS 58 News.